when you really understand neuroplasticity, it's very hard to hold on to a limiting belief, what I could do in my life or what's possible in my life, or I can get better at stuff. This is the core intention behind why we're even doing what we're doing here. Because limiting beliefs and things that hold us back are feel very real to people and they're real on an emotional level. The reason they feel true is because they're so intertwined with deep-seated emotions of a feeling of being true. So it's really hard to break through that stuff. One of the few things that really has the power to crack through that is just basic biology. You know, it's just like your nervous system's just made of the same stuff as everyone's nervous systems. And if you understand fundamentally what it's made of and what it's capable of, what it's possible to do, what it can do, not like some nervous systems, it's like intrinsic property of all nervous systems. I mean, if you read the chapter, like down to sea slugs, all nervous systems have this intrinsic property of neuroplasticity. And because of that, the truth, we have this capacity to become something inspired, something exciting, something that we aspire to. You know, our best versions of ourselves, these 2.0 upgraded kind of better versions. Like, who do you want to become? That's the question. Who do you want to become? That's the question. And when you really understand the basic biology behind why that's possible, that it just changes everything for people. It's one thing to learn Carol Dweck's theory of growth and fixed mindset. It's really powerful. It's really good. It's just conceptual, though, for most people. In other words, it often struggles to break through the level of conception or conceptual. And so it's like, ah, oh, it's like, yeah, it sounds like a great idea. I get it. And I know I'm just doing a fixed mindset thing. But it's like underlying a growth mindset is the biology of neuroplasticity, the basic neuroscience of the stuff you're made of. And it's almost infinite ability to adapt and change. Again, if you read the chapter, Search Memory, the brain's almost infinite capacity to increase in memory because of its ability to grow new dendritic or dendritic connections. So this is why we're talking about neuroplasticity. It's not necessarily to be able to say, Kreb one this and Kreb two this. We'll get into a little bit of that today. But, but, but that's not the intention here, right? It's not to become experts on neuroscience. It's to break through what inevitably is the real stuff, the hard stuff that holds people back, which is beliefs that just are grounded in made up fictions that the brain made up to keep people safe that have nothing to do with the actual reality of the stuff they're made of. Thanks so much for checking us out. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below for more free brain hacks. And don't forget to check out our course, The Brain Science Advantage, in the link below. Until next time.